Alright, this is part 2 of my Terra Farming Guide. However, I decided to make it a slightly different format. And that's gonna be the best 3 overall dungeons in terms of farming Terra. So part 1 was beginner's guide for farming terra i covered the two best ways to cover to farm terra for absolute beginners this time we are taking a look at the best overall dungeons for farming terra so yeah let's get started also want to mention that there will be also some honorable mentions i don't know why i say also a lot but yeah let's get started and at number three with no particular order it is iggh or crack of tv one hard mode or innocence dungeon hard mode whatever you want to call it but it's this one crack of the v1 hard mode obviously because it gives three d code per run three d code two per run and the crack of the v1 box or whatever this thing is which can give you crack of the v1 the v1 or six through the viagra zell in addition of some healing items but of course what we're looking at is a is a decode item and fruit of viagra zell both are the money makers here and yeah you already guaranteed three d code card per run which what makes this dungeon great now the requirement for this dungeon well it's gonna be a tough one for me because i already have the requirement when it was released so i don't know exactly what you need but this is going over over on a hunch so this is what i think the requirement now for a start you either can be a hit or a tank or a healer similar to Colosseum. In terms of healer, it's the same as Colosseum except there is no HP requirement of what is called to hand of healing range buff. You don't really need HP if you are a support, just tree of life and a bunch of hand of healings. Now for a tank, you need, uh, if you are level 120 or above, you might need some high critical I guess. I honestly don't know the requirement. To be specific, I don't know the minimum requirement, but let's say 40 45k HP with 150 160 critical percent and for hit 4k or above. These are what I think the minimum requirement. You can get away with less, but you'll do less DPS and of course also block if you are uh, a tank. Then 70 80 percent block or above is needed as well. Again, assuming you are the tank, and of course, defense. 1000, 1.5 thousand or above. I, ha I don't have a lot of defense, but you know, that much with AOX, I already can get 2k and it is good enough. So, yeah, Dark of the One Hard Mode, definitely one of the best dungeons to farm money. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. Alright, at number two, we have Kyra's Laboratory Hard Mode. It's actually a very, very underrated dungeon. Not a lot of people know about it or do it or even have it unlocked. But it is definitely one of the best dungeons to farm Terra and it's actually one of the easiest one. It's very easy but yeah you can see it can give you back, uh, tradable backup discs and the fruit of Yggdrasil and it's one of some Digiclone S which is pretty nice and rarely Digiog of Miracle and some rank 9 chip sets which is actually kinda trash but yeah what we're looking for here is backup discs and fruit of Yggdrasil. It is not very fast but it's kinda RNG. Actually it is very fast but it's it's kinda RNG, like it's easier, you can like do it with a rookie. The requirement is simple, you need any rookie Digimon with uh, 1.0 base, attack speed like a Gabumon. I use my Alter S in it, my Gabumon Alter S. Um, I actually grabbed the wrong one from the archive, so that's a rip, it's not one I use. But the Omega 1 one can work because it have 1.0 attack speed. I have it less than 1.0 because I have the deck buff and the accessories, but any rookie can work. Now how to unlock this dungeon is actually you need to do Chaos Mon Quest. <laughs> I'll leave the link for this bit in the description. You can go ahead and start it even if you don't have Digimon, even if you don't have Elikmon or Kumandromon, I think. But it seems to have to require a time level 70. Talk to Kalomon, do it all the way until you get to this one, 19. So it actually takes you a month to unlock because you need a daily quest for 11 days and then another daily quest for 20 days. So it takes you 31 days, a month, to unlock hard mode. Uh, Kaiser's laboratory, but it's definitely worth it. I would start doing it right now So I can unlock it and uh, yeah, the rewards are actually pretty good tradable backup disc and for the big result is pretty nice So yeah, this is number two. Let's move on to the best dungeon Oh, yeah, and the requirement for this dungeon before I forget anything with 8,000 or 5,000 even HB Actually 5,000 might be a little bit too low. So 8,000 HB on the your rookie It might be hard so you need to be you know a bit stacked on accessories and clothes and whatnot as you can see, yeah, any rookie with 8000 HP and level 120 plus, I think mobs here are level 110, so for critical and hit it's not that much, for critical I would say 120, 140-ish is good enough, 
depends on your level or your attribute and for hit I don't think you need hit at, at all in my experience that for th I actually used to do it when I only had 4,000 hit I mean I still kind of have but because I don't use my bracelet but yeah the requirement are really bad are really sorry really low so like you don't need much but if you are struggling you can do it the actual way like usually if you are a party with four you rush it but just kill the summons and you will be good so the dungeon is very simple really there is not really much to it just if you are struggling then kill whatever they summon and yeah let's move on to the next one and at number three we obviously have royal base like it's it's not even a a question at this point obviously royal base is the best one of the best if not the best dungeon in terms of farming terra because you get items for digivice you get Yggdrasil's record and Dex memory, which uh, Dexmon's memory, which you can use to make the bracelet, the five star five stats bracelets, which is always gonna be needed for everyone, for like new players and old players. I guess I would uh, maybe not all old players, but yeah. Although I have to say, Crack of Divimon hard mode can actually compete with Royal Base if you are have if you have a really good party, because of course Royal Base runs takes longer, but yeah. It is obviously the best dungeon. The requirement for it, well, I have made already, already made a royal base guide. You can check that out if you want. Like it's it's kind of long video, but that's you know I covered everything you need to know about royal base. So check that out if you don't, if you want. In a nutshell, 50k HP and 100k plus 120k plus DBS with no skills. That's you know, royal base requirement. So yeah, if you have any questions, go watch the royal base video or ask me in the comments. And yeah, let's move on to honorable mentions. And starting with. Scar for request crystal or EDGH hard mode or basically Sovereign dungeons hard mode are the honorable mention they are very Honestly, the reason they are not in top three is because they are kind of random. So let me explain So here we have scar for the crystal hard mode. Let's look at the reward some items are trash like This this is trash this is trash, this is trash, this is trash, 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 trash. Okay, good. Moving on. Try, I mean, these are okay, but not good for making money. Good, good, not for making money. As also, I don't think selling buffs is a good thing to do. Trash, 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 trash. Maybe good, maybe bad, depends on how lucky you are. This is okay, and this is good stuff. So basically, it's RNG. The reason I didn't put them in like the top dungeons because they are kinda random my luck with EDGH was trash like I have done over 100 runs and have not gotten a single crystal like you see this this is a Jack Frostwater crystal thing that is like the jackpot I've not gotten a single one on my inventory it never entered my inventory so Scarfer crystal and other hard mode holy beast dungeons are candidate for decent way to make Terra, but in my experience, they are not great because they are kind of random. So they are they can be good if you're lucky, but can be bad if you're not lucky. So the requirement is basically 26k attack on AOX. That's that's all I'm gonna say for uh, Scarfooter Crystal Hard Mode. For ZDGH, you need a bit more than that. Also, you might need to use Tamer Rio for Phoenix Mon and for uh, QDGH you need 140k plus DPS doable with Ultra S but you need to be like to have a very stacked Ultra S to do the to do QDGH and for BDGH it's only rush like people do rush runs which will require what 160 180 DPS which is not doable with Ultra S you need to be a whale or have like a Bilzimon X not Bilzimon X even uh, Megadramon X or Chaos Dramon X so the kind of for whales these are the honorable mentions. Last thing is IDG normal mode, crack of the mode normal mode can be good as well. Even at end game, so we always gonna refer to this screenshot in what I done after a hundred run. Right? So this was a hundred run of uh, crack of the mode normal mode and that was only an hour worth of it. So while this while crack of the mode normal mode is usually the early game of making Terra, and at end game when you have a very strong Digimon and really strong party like four AOX are gonna melt this dungeon in second. So you end up with like a hundred run on only an hour, maybe even more than that, if you are quick enough. So yeah, it can definitely be worth it at the end game. But you know, if you don't have 
other tickets from the dungeon I've mentioned, then you can still do normal mode. And yeah, that is gonna be everything. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll make sure to answer that. And uh, yeah, with that, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe for more demo content. And I will see you all in the next video.